Shel HaMishnah. We are now going to learn Masachet Berachot, Perak Aleph, Mishnah Bet. First, we learned in the last Mishnah the, about the Chiyuv, the obligation of Chiyat Shema Shel Aravi. Now we're going to learn about the obligation of Chiyat Shema Shel Shacharit. First, I will sing the Mishnah, and then I will explain it. Me'ematai korin et shma v'shacharit mishiyakir bein techelet le'lavan. Ribi Eliezer Omer bein techelet le'charti ve'gomra ad hanetza Chama, Rebi Yoshua Omer, Ad Shalosh Sha'ot, Sheken Derech Bnei Melachim La'amod V'Shalosh Sha'ot, HaKore Mikan Ve'Elach Lo Hifsid, Ke'Adam HaKore so this Mishnah starts out asking, Me'ematai, from when do we say, Kriyat Shema Shel Shacharit? The Shema that you say in the morning. And the Stam of the Mishnah answers, from when you can recognize, Misha Yakir Bein Techelet Le'lavan, the difference in between this bluish color and char and lavan white and then we have the opinion of Rebi Eliezer who says no the time is a later time it's when you you can tell the difference in between techelet and charti which is a green and so this is obviously a a like later time because it's harder to be telling whether something is blue or charti, green. Next, we have the opinion of Rebi Yehoshua. Rebi Yehoshua says that the time is until Ad Shalosh Sha'ot. Sheken Derech Bnei Melachim is the way of the sons of kings to wake up until the third hour. He's saying this because in the in the Pasuk it said, mecha. So he says that this is still Zman Hakima. This is still the like, time in which people are still are still waking up. And he mentions specifically kings, uh, the sons of uh, kings, because these are assumed to be the people who will wake up at the latest hour because they're assumed to be rich they don't have to wake up early in order to work but then the the mishnah says further on ha, uh, that hakora mikan the elach lo hisid so the simple understanding of this part of the of the mishnah is that Lo he see, he isn't losing out, meaning he's not losing out on scar, meaning he still gets a a scar, a reward for saying Shema. Uh, but here it's not for that you said Shema in its proper time, you are rewarded for saying Shema as in. You are reading Shema for doing a mitzvah of Talmud Torah, for studying Torah. That it is also why the Mishnah says, Hakora mikan ve'elach lo hifsid ke'adam hakora ve'torah. It's like a person reading Torah. But the Talmud understands lo hifsid to be talking about any of the brachas you say previous to, to Shema, and then also 
after saying Shema. Now, how, how do we pass him halacha in this case? In this case, the halacha doesn't follow any of these opinions. It follows an opinion that appears in the Talmud, which is the dot of Acherim, ah, ah, who say that, that the first time for saying Kriyat Shema, Shel Shacharit, is when you're able to recognize a person four amot away.